Hello, I'm ET. Welcome to my channel where we do everything together. Choosing a pair of goggles for you or for your child is often a difficult process. There are so many types and so many brands that it is very overwhelming. This video is here to simplify that process for you. Let's start with the choice between mirrored goggles and non-mirrored goggles. These are a pair of mirrored goggles. They have this mirror layer on the outside. Mirror goggles give you more UV protection. It bounces the glare that comes off the water surface away. So when you swim outside, your eyes does not hurt as much and it is safer for your eyes. Mirror goggles does not need to be used outside. You don't have to use them outside. You can use them inside if you so choose. Um, they are also more expensive than non-mirror goggles. You get your non-mirror goggles in a great variety. Some of them are completely see-through, completely clear. Some of them have quite dark glasses like these. I found these comfortable to swim with outside and indoors. They are non-mirrored, but comfortable enough. And then I also have these, um, also non-mirrored, also a bit dark, but lighter than the previous pair. They are cheaper on average than mirrored goggles um, and you can swim inside or outside with non-mirrored goggles although it is definitely safer for your eyes to swim outside with mirrored goggles. But in the end the choice will come down to ultimate comfort. If you are racing outside I would say go for mirrored goggles. Um, if you're only racing indoors then mirrored or non-mirrored that is totally up to you. So now we come to the question, should I buy training goggles, racing goggles, or both? So when you go into a shop to buy goggles, you'll see that on the box it usually says training or racing. The training refers to general practice, the racing refers to swim meets and competitive swim racing. Racing goggles are generally more expensive than training goggles. So if you are only a casual swimmer, you don't need to pay that large amount for racing goggles. That being said, there are some very expensive training goggles as well. If you are a competitive swimmer who takes part in swim meets and swim races, you want to seriously consider buying a pair of racing goggles for yourself. And these are the reasons why. Number one, they have a more flat, and streamlined profile. Number two, they fit closer to your eyes. Number three, they fall off less easily when you dive into the pool. And number four, you have better peripheral vision with racing goggles. Now with all that said, competitive swimmers often have multiple pairs of goggles, um, at least two. They'll have a pair for training and then they'll have a pair for racing. However, some of us have only one pair that we favor and we use that for both training and racing. In my case, I have three pairs of goggles at the moment, but the one that I use for both training and for racing is this one. So it's an arena, one of arena's mirrored goggles and it's very comfortable, but it has a, a low profile. It's pretty streamlined and it has a quite good peripheral vision. Um, and I do favor this one, so I often use it while training. I also use it when I compete. Lastly, goggle brands. There are so many goggle brands. The big three, Arena, Speedo, TYR, and then the list goes on and on and on. I will provide a list of some of the major brands for you in a clip just before the end of this video. But my advice to you when buying a goggle is pick the one that doesn't hurt you, that doesn't leak, and that doesn't fall off when you dive in if you are someone that takes part in races. Don't buy one just because of the brand name. Make sure that it is the perfect fit for you before you buy it. 
For all the information that you need on the perfect fit for you, please watch my next video on how to find the pair of swim goggles for you that fits perfectly.